another day and another last minute sewing project as usual i woke up late and decided to finally sew this kurta this fabric is so beautiful that i have been putting off sewing because i'm afraid of messing it up this fabric was gifted by my friend who knows how much i love fabrics this is a pure cotton fabric with lovely hand embroidery on it and it's from kolkata i am attempting to make a straight kurta with bell sleeves i have never done something like bell sleeves before so i'm crossing my fingers that it turns out well if you already have basic block then you're sorted till the waist after that measure your top length that is from shoulder till where you want the top to end and mark that after that measure your hip length that is from the waist till the hip and mark a point and then measure your full circumference of your hip and then divide it by 4 and then mark a horizontal line this horizontal line is what you will mark at the bottom as well if you want a straight cut kurta and then mark your slit point if you want your kurta to be little more flared from the slit just extend how much ever you want and your kurti pattern is ready it's time to cut out the fabric when lights go out your end Before sewing, it's time for brunch. I am having my comfort food, pulao with dal. Recently, I have been watching Roman Empire on Netflix. I have like three other shows that I am switching between. Yes, I am weird like that. I have a sitcom, Two Broke Girls, which is a constant. A history show, Roman Empire, because I was fascinated by their history after visiting Turkey. A crime documentary, The Indrani Mukherjee Story. I don't want to give spoilers but lately I have realized all the crime documentary boils down to childhood issues creeping in later which makes people do bad bad stuff and a sci-fi show severance it's all about how technology can mess up your mind and life I was never a sci-fi girly clearly my husband has impacted my life when it comes to shows as well I can never watch sci-fi shows one after the other like him because my brain can work at its maximum capacity occasionally but i'm surprised that i'm loving sci-fi shows coming back to sewing i first attached the shoulders and then stitched side darts on both the sides Next I pinned the sleeves and stitched it. You had to go. I will save you a space for a dance in the meadow on our favorite place when spring is coming. it's time to stitch the sides 
I pinned all the way from sleeves end to the slit point on both the sides and stitched it. Kurta has to be the perfect summer clothing, especially if it is cotton fabric. It's so easy to make that this is the second kurta that I'm sewing in this month. This is the other one I recently stitched and I love cotton kurtas. I tried my hands on making a small puff sleeve. It's good but it's not great. I mean, it's not puffing the way I wanted it to be. So, I guess I'll try it again and if it comes out great, I'll show you guys how to make it. It's time to take a break because my back doesn't listen to me anymore. It has its own life. Hashtag millennial problems. I'm having some oranges and green tea to refresh my mind. Oh yeah, from Roman Empire, I switched to crime documentary, the Indrani Mukherjee story. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. After a quick tea break, uh, I got back to sewing. So I need to finish the neckline. So I folded the bias tape and pinned it on the neckline and stitched it. After that I folded it inward and did hand hemming. You can also do machine stitching but I like the finishing of hand hemming. After that I double folded the sides and pinned it and stitched it as shown in the video. And the last step over here is to double fold the bottom on both front and back and stitched it which I totally forgot to record. And just like that it was evening and I was not in the mood to have proper dinner. I was also craving to have something spicy. So my husband got me masala puri. This has to be my favorite street food. After having the yummy masala puri, it's time to make the bell sleeves. I followed some YouTube video and uh, I'm gonna first measure the sleeve end. So the complete circumference is 10 inches. So I folded the fabric once and then folded it again. Now I'm gonna divide the full circumference by pi. That is 10 divided by 6.28 which gives me 1.59. I'm going to measure this 1.59 inches from the folded corner and then mark it. After that from the new marking I'm going to mark the length of the bell sleeves.
and then cut it out. Next I placed the sleeve with this new bell sleeves that I cut out and pinned it and realized it's a failure as in the bell sleeves is bigger than the sleeves so I think I goofed up somewhere I'm not sure where now I need to cover up the mess so I added the basting stitch and gathered it and pinned it and stitched it Oh one thing that it's plain to see the best thing in this life for free that's so true now And there I was with my world falling apart Hoping just to get by Without knowing it I played it by heart And now I sing Thank God it worked out well. I finished the ends by double folding it and it's done. I'm with you. Oh, we're cruising down to Mexico. I'm turning up the radio. Cause I'm with you now. You and me, we know that love is in the air. Like the wind blowing through your hair Oh, I'm with you 